हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई हैव टू डील विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज वेब ऑप्टिक्स इन वेब ऑप्टिक्स द टू डेज डिस्कशन पॉइंट इज वे फ्रंट सो बिफोर एनी एक्सप्लेनेशन एनी डिस्कशन अबाउट वे फ्रंट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन सम हिस्ट्री रिगार्डिंग दिस न्यूटन्स कार्पस्कुलर थ्योरी वेरी वेल नोन थ्योरी बट रिजेक्टेड थ्योरी रिजेक्टेड बट स्टील वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई लेटस नो न्यूटन थॉट न्यूटन थॉट दैट वेन एवर लाइट प्रोपिगेट्स देन The medium is ether. Ether is a medium in which the density of the medium is very very low, and elasticity is very very much. So this is known as a medium that is ether. So in ether, what he assumed that light propagates in a straight line. and the particle each particle each tiny particle of the light is made of is made of pascular each and every pascular are massless very elastic but of different sizes it is very important it was assumption and he assumed also that of different colors different pascularis are formed of different sizes but one thing that was very wrong in this assumption that he said whenever light propagates in a medium then in denser medium the velocity of light is more than the velocity of light in rarer medium later on foucault experimented and said that light velocity means velocity of light in in rarer medium is greater than the velocity of light in denser medium so on basis of experimental verification foucault found that newton's corpuscular theory was wrong so it was rejected foucault says foucault foucault said light velocity of light in rarer medium is greater than velocity of light in any medium in any medium means in denser medium so now after that a dutch scientist named huygens he gave a very important theory a wave theory of light he said light propagates in a mechanical medium and he also verified some very important phenomenon of light law of refraction law of reflection diffraction interference of light but polarization of light was not verified by this because he assumed light travels in mechanical medium right now at present you all know that light is electromagnetic wave which doesn't require any medium and that is transverse in nature so on the basis of this concept the polarization phenomenon of polarization was not explained by huygens therefore huygens theory was also rejected but still it is very important for scientific purpose so let us begin with the wave front today what is wave front a wave front is is a locus of all the points in a medium in a plane suppose this is the board and this is a point source light coming from at time t it travels distance x at time t it travels the same distance x at time t it travels the same distance x at time t it travels the same distance x 
the vibration of all the points in a medium they are on the same phase this point suppose a b c d this a b c d a b c d e these all points are having same phase so the locus of all the points in a medium is called a wave front which are having same phase so this is very important here now the direction according to huygens principle the direct di direction of rays are like that it is perpendicular to the wave front this is the wave front this is the along radially outward this is radially outward radially outward radially outward this is the 90 degree this is the wave front so the direction of propagation of light is perpendicular to the wave front so wave front is very much clear now how many types of wave front there are three types one is spherical another is first we should speak about types of wave front three types first you should name here plane wave front plane wave front second spherical wave front spherical wave front third cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front so here where is here i have to discuss about plane wave front plane wave front is spherical wave front and cylindrical wave front the light ray coming from infinity means the parallel parallel light here the plane wave front will be perpendicular like that this is the direction of propagation of light and perpendicular to this direction of propagation of light wave front plane wave front is perpendicular so plane wave front this is the this is a diagram okay now is spherical wave front is spherical wave front is due to the point source a point source is here and light is coming out from here light is coming out from here so this is suppose this is the point source then the spherical wave front will be formed here like that and a cylindrical wave front in cylindrical wave front suppose a tube light like that a tube light is here then the direction of propagation of light will be along this direction we can make a cylinder we can make a cylinder and this is the direction of propagation of light this is the direction of propagation and this is the wave front okay so this is the cylindrical wave front so there are three concept here for plane wave front like that spherical wave front due to point source and cylindrical wave front due to the line source line source you can make like that also draw a line here like that draw a line line source draw a line here light will spray will be perpendicular like that and make like that okay so there are some important examples where you can we can understand that how wave front can be formed let us explain by some examples now one example is one example is a wave front due to wave front wave front due to convex lens is here 
light ray is falling here and it is converging at a point converging at a point this is parallel wave front so it can be represented like that it can be represented like that this is the point source you can assume that this is the point source the spherical wave front can be formed like that so due to the wave front due to the convex lens image form the infinite rays are falling on the convex lens and converging at the focus the wave front can be made like that now the second in concave lens light is falling on the surface and it will spread it will meet here this is the point here so the plane wave front will be formed like that this is the point source so the plane wave front can be made like that okay now in prism you can also make in prism when light falls on the surface suppose a glass prism here light falls on the surface like that like that so plane wave front will be form like that here So this is the plane wave front, parallel plane wave front. So this is all about the wave front. In the next video, I will explain about completely about Huygens principle. Okay.